We're throwing an event tonight to try to raise a little bit of money and bring awareness to what we're doing and the initiative behind what we're doing. And my name is Bruce Waite. I am Bruce Waite's Barbering, but I am creating OKC Mobile. It's going to be the first legal mobile barbershop here in, in Oklahoma. I'm bringing a very vital space, which is the barbershop, to communities that otherwise wouldn't be able to experience what that's like. Uh, a client of mine ended up getting sick, getting very ill, and was in the hospital uh, longer than that, you know, we all expected for him to be. Um, so eventually I ended up having to go out and cut his hair out there. Um, and that kind of sparked the flame for the, for the idea of the initiative end of it, thinking about how there could be so many people that need this service to be brought out to them. It's, it's so much that goes on um, inside of a, of a barbershop that most people really don't, don't think about, the entrepreneurship opportunities, things like that. Well, the Mobile Barbershop is an initiative to really make barbering services and the barbering space, the barbershop, accessible to populations that have trouble accessing it the most. Um, we really just wanted to introduce the concept to the community, get people familiar with it, let them know it's coming to them, and to also um, see if we can get some support financially. We have a GoFundMe account that we're using to kind of generate funds to do the build out. We have a really old Airstream, Bruce probably told you about. It's a land yacht, 1960, and it needs a lot of TLC. So um, any support that we can get to make that a reality, we're, we're open to it. And, hoping to get that. Um, as soon as Bruce was saying his one of his clients got sick, I really started spending more time in the barbershop. Um, I come from a single parent home. We were low income, all women. We moved around a lot. I never really spent a lot of time in the barbershop before. And so to be in that space and see all of the amazing, the amazing, fascinating things going on in there, it really just blew my mind. Seeing the fellowship going on in this space, um, I've seen people come in in crisis and come to the barbers and get the support that they needed. I've seen youth and elderly come together and exchange stories and, and really come together and just relate to each other. Um, it's a space where social entrepreneurship is celebrated. I would say the biggest takeaway for me is to see that the lengths of, that people will go through just to get to this space. They will catch three buses, they will walk a mile, they will Will wait for their parents to get home from school and take them somewhere they will wait and they will go that extra mile to get to that space and that that just touched my heart it's obviously an important space that people care about it's an asset to a community so how can we make this more accessible I just want to say that this is really going to help a lot of people in our community um, just to name a few populations the elderly physically disabled um, I come from the foster care community and a lot of the youth that live in foster care settings like group homes and shelters, they are kind of stuck there. They don't really get to get out and experience the normal things that we get to experience. So I just think about those populations and think about how we can reach them. And um, I really want people to understand that this is going to be a barbershop that's not only going to serve everybody, but really make an extra effort to get to the people who have trouble reaching it the most. My drive is definitely to help. I just really want to help people. You know, it's still a business, but I'm gonna, it's, it's a for good business. In fact, we just um, solidified a deal with the Homeless Alliance, which I'm gonna go out there twice a month and cut for free. Through this initiative, we're able to bring the unit once it's finished um, twice a month to do full, two full days um, of hair cutting for their day shelter clients. So it's just already doing good. It's not even on the ground yet, and it's already doing so much good. And so uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it, happy that Bruce and I could combine our loves together and make this happen. And so thank you guys for coming out and hearing the story, and I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you.